Hey guys, so I just want to talk about checking out a license and then some of the different things that you can um, use them for. So uh, I've got 2018 open and in this one we have floating licenses. So I'll show you how to check that out and then borrow one. And then um, in 2019 I have um, a standalone and we'll just take a look at that. So this all depends on really, you know, if you do, if you have standalones, then you don't really have to worry about this part. Um, if you are in school, you probably have a education license, which is about a uh, three year length. So that's fine. And you don't really have to worry about this either. But if that's not the case and you have floating licenses, you're away, f you're, you know, you're going to go on a trip or whatever the case is. Um, you may want to check out a license and w just to kind of, um, you know, talk about this, uh, I'll give a scenario where, you know, you may have 30 employees, let's say 20 Revit licenses. Um, you know, the idea is that you'd, uh, with a floating license, um, not all 30 people are going to be online and they're going to be periodically, you know, um, go, getting on and off, um, depending on, you know, what their role is and stuff. Some people may get on there more often than others. Some, you know, maybe once a, you know, few weeks in that case you, you may you know generally have a good amount of licenses just kind of sitting there and um, the idea behind checking out a license is if you're going away for whatever the reason is you you essentially pull down that license so that you can still work on Revit without being connected back you know to your work and um, but the thing is is when you do that your licenses are now not being floated back and forth between users it's just solely to you until that license gets returned so um, we'll go ahead and just take a look at doing that so up here at the top next to this question mark we can click on that little arrow and then this about Autodesk Revit then whatever your version is um, and then this dialog box you just select manage license and then here, if you give, if you uh, select that drop down, just gives you some generic information. What we care about is borrow. So if we click on that, we get this dialog box. And then from here, we can just select a date, and you can go pretty far out. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't try to do that because you know these are floating licenses. The idea is that when you're not using a license, somebody else, ha you know, can pull that license down and use it. Um, because you could easily have a, you know, a whole bunch of people doing this, locking up licenses for entire days that they're not using them. You know, for example, if I check it out to the 21st, then it's going to be locked up all those days. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. Um, and I think you can return these. Um, so if I checked it out for, you know, until the 28th, I can return this beforehand, maybe on the 20th. But I heard that sometimes there there may be issues with that and it, there could be um where you return it and it doesn't actually return it supposedly it's a glitch on on autodesk side i'm not sure if that's been fixed um just keep that in mind when you are borrowing these and you try to return it um so yeah it's there for people you know for if you're leaving the office whatever the case is i generally use it quite a bit um at least for this uh, Revit session, uh, because it's not a standalone, so I, I constantly check check it out. So yeah, um, hopefully that helps you guys. And we'll take a look at the 2019, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just browse out to it, and then you can see here it doesn't give me that option. It's essentially a standalone license. I can, you know, open this up wherever it's on my machine and I don't have to worry about that. So that's the difference. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, just in whatever version you have, if you have that, if you are using um, licenses in that way, um, borrowing them, just um, remember that it does lock it up from anybody else using it. It's not, it's not the biggest deal if you have a good amount of available licenses generally. But, you know, when you get in the habit of, you know, a whole bunch of people doing that, um, you could run into potential um, times where all the licenses are locked up, which I've seen that happen before. So keep that in mind. It's there. So hopefully it helps you. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.